I apologize, my I dog. I skis, my dog. Yo, yo, that's crazy. That was bad. Hi YouTube, welcome back to the Open Chat Little P but for you too. This is your platform, my platform. Let's chat. So guys, today I'm bringing you another exciting episode. Make G finally apologizes to Joseph Dari after the defaming allegations he made about him while he was interviewing Kwame Kumalo speaking about Sizo Tola and Mojala. So guys, before we get into the apology and everything, I just want to give a backstory to those who haven't seen the video when uh, Mickey was defaming uh, Joseph Terry, so we can just look at this video, then we can have a context of what the apology was all about. So without wasting your time, without further ado, guys, let's get straight down to the video. Wait, oh, man. Yeah. You worked at Moja Love, ne? There's a video I've been trying to find. There's, an, there's a show you guys used to do uh, where you were catching pedophiles. Yes. You remember that show? Mm. There's a guy there. I can't find it on the internet, but uh, Joseph Diary was there. Who's Joseph Diary? Uh, the, 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 the TikTok or the whatever. TikTok or YouTuber. The YouTuber. Yeah, he was one of the episodes, dog. I kid you not. Am I lying? He was there, ne? Yes, he was there. I remember, dog. We're doing what? Google, Google. He, was, he was caught with a, oh, of, with a chick. Terrible. Like, he bought some chick food, underage chick. And they caught him. They busted him. <gasps> I kid you not, bro. That is what? Yeah, Joseph Diary. Yeah. So like now when you see him now, it's all, uh, he uh, did a remake over. Yeah. Yeah, like that's why he's always hiding his face and the look and whatever. But I saw him. I saw him on that show. Wait, this nigga who hooks up people. Yes, he, he was on that show. for the phones. And the host was a priest, I guess. Yes, yes, the host was a priest. Yes, the host was a, yes. Joseph Diary was there. I kid what? you not. But I was, oh, I was waiting for more intel because I didn't have. You can't find to, it. To you release, can't find it. To release that this nigga. The video is there, but you can't find it on the internet. But she, she, she so he was preying on a child. Yes, oh, he bought a, fuck he bought now, a KFC man. or something. Oh, yeah, no, man. yeah. I kid you not, bro. So wait, and wait. And his audacity to still be. You. So no one has picked this up. No one it. has picked it up, dog. But I didn't have uh, the intel, so I didn't want to talk about it because I'm choosing peace. This is how bad it was. This is character assassination of note. Someone would have gone for a defamation of character and sued Mick G. But then let's see how Joseph Barry reacts to these allegi uh, allegations and how the apology went. So without. But did you swear at us? I don't know. Did you swear nah. at us? Say did what? You, did man? you say fuck the podcast or something? Nah, oh. way. You know, I think it's maturity <laughs> comes within, you know. I yeah. can't just. Me, I'm. Bro. Even even when this happened, I'm sure I don't know what my father did. Mm. My father is a pastor. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when this whole thing happened, I don't know what he did. Yeah. So I can't be out there saying, oh, wara wara wara, make G this, make G that. I'm still a brand. Yeah, yeah, you know of course, I'm saying? Of course, so I'm, of course. I'm not trying to cherish my name and say, oh, this man did this and then now I'm coming. No, I'm not that person when you hit me this side and I hit you back. No, yeah. I'm that one. When you hit this side, I give you the other side. Oh. Yeah, bro, but I won't lie to you, man. Like, I felt so bad. You know, we've spoken a lot on the podcast. I mean, we've had the yeah. podcast for about four or five years. We say a lot of yeah. shit. But that really hit me to the core, you yeah, know? Yeah, me, I was, yeah. Bro, because I've been in the trenches of YouTube. I know yeah. the struggle of what it's like to get subscribers and views and whatever. Yes. You know, the work that goes behind it. So uh, for me to come say that and only to realize, you know, it wasn't uh, true. Like I felt shit, dog. I'm not even going to lie yeah. to you, bro. It was bad. And, and I apologize and I apologize to you again. I mean, I've apologized before. I apologize to you again. I mean, uh, I really didn't know. And that was not my intention, you know. And I think you could feel, because uh, uh, I tried to call you before yeah. we apologize on the show to yeah, apologize yeah, yeah, to you personally. Yeah. Honestly, guys, I didn't expect the maturity of how the situation was handled. More especially from the side of Joseph Gary, the one who has been wrong. The maturity and the level of calmness, the way he responded to this situation, shows the kind of person he is. It shows his character. Because honestly, if it was someone else, they would have been going out uh, gun blazing, maybe throwing out himself, or maybe threatening to assume G. However, Joseph Gary was just calm about it. And yeah. It is sobering and it was just unexpected. And on the side of Mick G as well, like the apology seems sincere. And at the same time, it just came immediately, I think after a week, after the allegations uh, went out. So the maturity of the situation, the way it was handled, is sobering. So let's just continue to see. Let's not make this about me. What was going through your head? Because here you are, you're doing your thing. I just want to know what was going through <laughs> <laughs> 
Mine is cool. I will talk about that in your head. Because hey, yeah. cause, cause, cause the man stopped the whole show. Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. Yeah. That, see. And then now when he started talking, I'm like, so now the thing, when the whole thing happened, yeah. I was yeah. watching, um, Podcast and chill. Yeah, yeah. that time I'm watching. Oh, for real? Yes, I'm watching and I'm I'm putting on. I was in the studio also yeah, with yeah, my yeah. my engineer, so I'm watching podcast and chill, putting in the earphones. Mm-hmm. Now I went off. You know when you're watching and then you be like, "Yes, yes, 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 yes." So I went off. Now when I fall, yeah, I, I went off and did something there in the yeah. house. Then when I go back. I see Joseph Dar, Joseph Dar, man. Yeah, yeah, oh shit. Make G just man. crashed Joseph Dar, yeah. Joseph Dar, yo, my man. Yeah. Make G just made Joseph Dar shake. I was like, mm. now what did I do? So now I'm already behind. So now I have to catch up with the video. So I had to watch the whole, no, watch the whole where I was. Yeah. I was I was watching continuum from what I was watching before yeah. so that I can just watch the whole podcast. Now yeah. I get that part and I was like, this man is it weed? Is it alcohol? Is it that? I ask myself because sometimes <laughs> happens. I'm like, is it that punch? Is it that dangerous? It's the gin. Because, because, because it was. Hey, my man, I, I was shocked. You see, now they they actually talking about it. It also crosses my mind that why would McGee go to such length, accusing someone of such a hectic, hectic, hectic as an accusation, being a pedophile. Being a pedophile, that's too much, man. That's too much. The allegations were just too much. So I'm just asking myself what went through his mind, actually, that they're even talking about it now. Anyways, it's just... One thing that came into my mind was, obviously, McG wants to give me money. Mm, mm. That was one thing I'm like, oh, I I think he wants to give me money. It's my time. I saw my time coming, and I'm like... This is my time. <laughs> Let's be honest. That lady, that lady from Mojala fucked me up, eh? She yeah. pumped me, eh? Because yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I've said it on the show before, yeah. like, I don't really uh, 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 consume your content. Obviously, I'm not the target market or yes, whatever the case yeah. may be, right? So when she was here, I'm like, fuck, man. I've always had this thing in the back of my mind because I saw the Manyanyova show. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the people in that space. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but she's here. And she's here. Yeah. And she mentioned on the show, mm-hmm. they mentioned it's Joseph. Mm. He's light skinned. You guys look pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity mm. to ask a yeah. lady who was heading content mm-hmm. at Moja Lab. Like, who yeah. better to know, ask, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you remember in the show, I think we even asked her if she can provide us with a video. Yes. Because yeah. you then, couldn't find it on the net. Yeah, we couldn't find it on the net. And yeah. then that week, we couldn't find the video. She couldn't send it to us as well. Yeah. Which I think, in hindsight, we should have removed that part because we don't have yeah. Uh, yeah. proof. Yeah. proof yeah. You yeah. understand? Yeah. But it's stuff that we record long ago. You're not you really thinking forget. about it. We've kind of forgotten about it. Boom, 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 boom. So when that thing comes out, I'm still letting him. I'm like, ah, oh, it's him, man. Yeah. Look at the nose. Ah, oh, it's him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, but what I want to know is that the minute you find out that you fucked up, yeah. what happens then? Bro, I called Dudu. I was yeah. like, no, we gotta say an apology, bro. Yeah. And I know uh, the social media was a shitstorm, mm-hmm. but we don't go by what social media yeah, is yeah. saying. You know? Myself, I yeah. don't go with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, Dudu, the right thing is for me to apologize. Yeah. And if the guy wants to sue, he's got every grounds. Cause like, I fuck, bro. Like defamation yeah. of character, pedophilia. Yeah, Gosh, my man. That career is ending. that's career ending, dog. Yeah, that will end anyone's career. And it was bad. Yeah, it was bad. Man. But firstly, I knew. Firstly, I knew it's it's, it's not true. Yes, yes. And then yes, there's yeah. no proof. Yeah, no, yeah. not not true. Historical lie. Yeah, I said historical <laughs> lie. That's what I said. <laughs> yes. Because if you check it in history of life, I might blow up after this. Like too big to like you know yeah. some other places because of the whole situation that yeah. happened. You know what I'm saying? But like. It's in the histories that like people are always gonna think that nah this guy yes yes I'm saying yes, this yes. guy yeah because there's someone who probably watched just that show yeah and that's all they know that's all yeah. they know yeah. you see this guy doesn't cease to amaze me honestly uh, I like how he could see the brighter side in the middle of the shitstorm I like the way that uh, he's self aware and aware of the situation that this is a situation that could hit, that could make him. At the same time, he's aware of the historical mistakes, uh, historical mistake that McG did. Because at the same time, as much as it could make him famous, there's those, those people who just focus on the fact that he's been accused of being a pedophile and they call him a pedophile. And those are people who actually definitely would be hating on him without any reason and without any evidence. So 
at the same time, honestly, I think this is just an honest um, way of, to analyze the situation. And I like the way how he's so self away because I'm one of those who didn't necessarily con to consume his content. But after this, I got more interested in him seeing the kind of person he is and seeing the type of character he is. So honestly, guys, this is just amazing. This is just amazing. I like the maturity of the whole situation, how it was handled. I, I apologize, my I dog. I skis my dog. Yo, yo, that's crazy. It was bad. <laughs> Stay connected for more.